Can this day just end? This is my, this is like, I'm just gonna go hide in the corner. I'm done. How's it going everybody? Dragast here and welcome back to some more shopkeep. So last episode was uh, quite a crazy one if you did miss it. We did expand our store quite drastically as you can clearly see. We pretty much times the size by three. We also got into alchemy. If you didn't remember I was kind of confused with this whole reservoir thing over here where you collected um, gold, metal, wood, yada yada yada. Well, turns out you can make things and very expensive things with this cauldron over here which is pretty interesting and that's a lot of what we're going to do today. As you can see our champion is wearing a lot of these gear. We have a full gold plate suit on him and a poison sword. So yeah, I did upgrade him off recording. His health is actually at 1,460 HP now. He actually started with 100 health. So this gear definitely helps him out a lot. And I feel confident enough for him to go maybe to... You know what, let's try the mountain range first. And then later on in the episode, we'll try the Dragon Claw Cave. If he can even survive the mountain range. But yeah, now that he's off, I think it's time to uh, buy a lot of things. Because you can see our store is pretty empty right now. It's a little dirty as well. i got to clean up around here. Uh, but yeah, we got a lot of tables to fill up, so I'm going to do that. First of all, though, I'm going to do alchemy. I'm going to do a lot of alchemy. So we're going to buy um, some gold, more, more gold and shields, make lots of gold and armor, and uh, a few other things as well. Okay, there we go. I'm placing an order for five... You know what? Let's, let, let, let's round it off to $5,000 or around $5,000. We got 21 gold-plated shields coming in, and I'm not going to be selling these things. I'm going to be grinding them up for their gold. Oh, I also upgraded my character. We actually have a different broom now. Amazing, right? I think we also have a different um, sword. Yeah, we got the eagle sword, which you can in fact make, by the way. And we got a fireball shot this time now, which is kind of nice. Anyways, here is our gold-plated shields, and a lot of them. Now, I want to make sure... I don't know if these things can overflow or something, so I am going to watch this carefully. Because that one's the gold one. That's the hardest commodity to come by, so... Hopefully we can get a quite a bit here. There we go. Okay, so I basically just tap these and get some more vials. Tap this one as well, and then put the rest of these shields in. Bam, there we go. And look at all that gold. Amazing. And we still got two more shields. There we go. I also totally forgot about skills. Like, I have so many skills I can upgrade. Customers tend to steal less, yes. Um, never zap an innocent customer again. Probably very important, let's unlock that. Anti-thief barrier enabled at shop doors. Oh my god, that is so helpful. I probably should have been upgrading myself. Thieves will think twice about stealing, yes please. Faster barrier, reduce barrier reload time by one minute. Sure, why not? So I just spent pretty much all my Ks, whatever they are. Uh, what else can I buy? Yeah, sure, we can unlock this skill as well. Attract richer customers, 30% carry, gold, and price tolerance. Yes, that's fucking very useful. So yeah, hopefully it's going to be a lot easier during the day now to deal with thieves as well as richer customers. Uh, what the hell? What is this? This is new? Does my- Oh, that's probably my barrier thing I was talking about. It has a health bar, I guess. Okay, I'm looking at some of these quests. We actually have a quest for the druid gear, and it unlocks a statue. I didn't even know about these statue things, so I think we're gonna do that. We need a wooden helmet, wooden shoulders, wooden boots, wooden pants, wooden gloves, and wooden chest. I hope I remember how to make these things. And what do you know? Our champion is already back, so I guess we can check out what he got. He slain a stoneling and got weed. Great, good for you, Stoneling. <laughs> I just realized it's called a Stoneling. How perfect is that? And you looted weed off it. Oh, that's pretty funny. It's also slain a pebble seller. Uh, that's kind of rude, to be honest. If he's selling pebbles, he's got to be in a pretty rough time. But yes, uh, we also got a plate chest. That's uh, really good. A premium dirt cake again, and some wood pants. So actually, that was really good. I'm I'm pretty confident though. I think he can do the Dragon Claw Cave. So we're gonna send him off to do that as well. Now his loot's over here, so I can grab that later. I don't actually want to grab it right now, because I'm doing a lot of alchemy, and the more things I have in my inventory, the harder it is. There's my order. Now I got everything I need to make all of this. Okay, once I find my weed, I should officially be done this set. And look at that, our champion's back again. Now you guys know how much I cut out. I've been spending like 30 minutes freaking doing alchemy here. So let's see what he got again. We got a plain sword. Oh, I want to start from the top. Why does it start me in the middle? That's weird. I looted some mush, a mana potion, a plain sword, a plate chest, and then I got knocked out. Shit. So I'm going to send him back to the mountain range because he keeps getting knocked out, so I don't want to risk that. But yeah, he should be able to do the mountain range just fine. So let's take this, 
Uh, we have officially, well, pretty much finished this quest, assuming nothing gets stolen. I just gotta put this over here on our wonderful little rack. Okay, there's our wonderful little druid set. We got the helmet, the plate, the pants, uh, the shoulders, the gloves, and the boots. Now, assuming that all sells, that's not only gonna give us a lot of money, but get us what, what, whatever that statue is. Now, I'm gonna make go make a gold set as well. I really wanna get as many rare things as I can this sale, just to get a lot of money. I feel like this is the best way. It's a lot of work, but it's the best way to earn a lot of money. Can this day just end? This is my, this is like, I'm just gonna go hide in the corner. I'm done. Okay, so I made a bunch of gold items, mostly actually just helmets because we have so much helmet space. I gotta buy a few more armor racks because I'm running out of space. I also made some golden shields, so yeah, we got a lot of rare resources this time. Okay, I know I got more in here somewhere. There we go, we got a golden plate. I think, we, yeah, we got an extra two plate pants and then one plate chest. Which I have no place to put, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna need another armor rack. I think we'll just put another one right here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's getting kind of tight in here, honestly. Like, there's lots of space. I could rearrange this to make my uh, space more useful, but whatever. Uh, we got another armor rack. That's what I need right now. And we're gonna put some more gold on there. Oh, shit, I got gold boots as well. I forgot about that. And I know I have one more chest piece somewhere in here as well. And there we go. So yeah, uh, quite a few rare items. I still gotta make some weapons and whatnot, but I'm really enjoying the alchemy. Like, this is all from alchemy, and this is probably $20,000 worth of stuff just right here. Okay, I decided to go simple, just make a couple spears. They're still worth $859, or sorry, gold, so it's not like I'm going cheap. It's just they're the easiest thing to make because you don't need any materials to do so. So I've stocked up most of the store as well. Uh, we still have quite a bit of space, so I'm gonna buy a few more things before we get going. But yeah, so far so good. Uh, I just gotta get a few more hats and a few more things to fill these tables, and I should be pretty much good to open up my shop. So I don't have much to spare, but I've officially stocked, for the first time, my whole store. Every slot that allows for an item to, to be placed has been filled, and I put a few potions on the tables and whatnot, just because I can't really think of anything else. Like, I can keep buying shoulder plates, but really, who, how many people are gonna buy shoulder plates? So I think having a lot of potions is more useful, but as you can see, every spot is full and I'm pretty damn proud of that that feels that feels like a mini accomplishment right there anyways let's open up this door and uh, yeah start the day off like I've seriously spent about an hour here just stocking up this shop so I'm hoping today goes really well one thing I did forget is the welcome mats that clean people's feet now I'm, I'm regretting that because I'm gonna be holding this uh, damn broom this whole time now but at least it's a prettier broom it's a more modernized broom and it's kind of nice to look at Anyways, here they start coming in. We're selling things already, people. <laughs> look at these guys. Like, I like how they bring gear in that I have sold to them before, only to buy more of my stuff in here. Now, the biggest thing I want to watch is my druid set. I don't want to lose this because I have a quest going on, and I have to sell every one of these items. So this whole druid set here is my biggest thing. And there we go, there's the first item gone, the helmet. You look great, sir. I'm also gonna do something a little different today, which might be a little risky, but I feel like it might be a better idea. And that is not pay my tax. Uh, the thing is, the, the only thing that tax really does is bring in more barbarians. The higher you have your tax to, the more barbarians that are gonna come inside. And I'm not really having any real issues with barbarians, so I'd rather just save my money and not give them it. And holy shit, I've never seen it this packed in here. Like, things are going left, right, and center. Uh, trying to f watch for thieves is pretty much impossible right now. But it seems to be going pretty damn well. What the hell? Uh, look at the bottom left, guys. What the hell is going on? How did I earn $275,000? What the fuck just happened? What is going on? I'm confused. Why is my shit all on the ground? Why do I have $300,000? Please explain this to me, game. I seriously don't know what the fuck just happened. My shit broke. But I have. I'm at $400,000. What is- well, Something is clearly broken. And what the fuck is going on? Why is all my shit breaking? Okay, well, this good day is going great. I mean, it's going great. I'm at 540,000 fucking dollars. Hey, no, you little shithead. Get the hell out of here. I think my game's broken, guys. I, I'm just gonna go ahead on a limb and say, yeah, my game is definitely broken, which is kind of depressing because I don't want to have $700,000. The point of this game is to work towards that. Oh my, what the fuck is going on? I'm so confused. Everything is broken. At this point, what do you even do? Like, what? Like, look at my store. Look at my fucking store! 
Everything is broken, and nothing happened. It's not like barbarians are in here or anything. God, this thing just broke too? Something is clearly going on with the stats, and I am really confused. Well, it looks like we're gonna hit a million dollars today, guys. At least I'll have enough money to fucking fix up my store. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with the rest of this series, though, because the point is to make money to expand your store. If you have a million dollars, that kind of ruins the fun of the game. But, th I mean, you, you kind of gotta sit here and just laugh about it, too. I mean, <laughs> look at this. Everything is breaking. It seems to be, like... I almost want to assume, like, the items are stacked and it's selling, like, a thousand at a time. And when it sells those... Obviously, the furniture breaks because the way the furniture works, the more things people grab off them, the more they deteriorate. So, they're selling one thing, and then my furniture is deteriorating, but I'm making a lot of money in doing so. I honestly don't know what, what else could be happening, but, uh, yeah. This is, um, definitely a game-breaking bug, and I've had many bugs in Shopkeep, which is slightly annoying, but I gotta acknowledge as well, I am playing an early access title, and that comes with the boundaries. Okay, so I have a hundred and eleven thousand dollars worth of tax as well. I'm just curious to see how many- I mean, my shop's already fucked up anyways, they can't break anything else. I'm curious to see how many barbarians are gonna come. So yeah, my assumption is definitely correct. I'm looking at my quest right now, and I sold 81 wood pants and 82 wood boots. The rest aren't broken, but it seems like anything on- well, no, because that's on uh, the armor rack with the plate chests, and I sold ten of those. I have no fucking idea what's going on, but I'm selling way more than I should be. So what I think I'm gonna do to uh, kind of combat this is I'm just gonna buy a bunch of gear and then grind that down. I'm gonna buy a million dollars worth of gear and grind that down. Uh, just so I have a bunch of vials so I can do more alchemy, but I'm not gonna have the money to expand my store because I feel like that's, you know, that's just cheating. It's basically beating the game in this one episode. But yeah, safe to assume quest complete. How do I actually, can, can I complete this quest? I don't even know. We gotta go to, I think statistics is the right way. Yes, now, can I please complete my quest? I don't know how to complete my quest, guys. It's done. I mean, you can see it's done, but maybe that's glitched out as well. Oh my god, this is so depressing. I'm just realizing how much I have to set up again. Like, I spent an hour setting up this fucking shop, only to have it deteriorate in literally minutes. Like, there's nothing left. I have a few shelves. That's really it. Oh my god, what the fuck? Holy rats! What the hell? This is lagging me. Where are all these ra- I'm, I'm getting the fuck out of here. That's, that, that's part of my horrors. This game is seriously fucking up so badly. Like, I'm lagging beyond belief. I'm at 10 frames a second here. There's fucking- there, There's more rats! What the fuck is up with all the fucking rats? You're breaking my fucking game, you assholes! Okay, so I, I think I have to clean this up. That's the problem. The more you don't clean up, the more rats there are. Okay, they're gone now. Holy shit. I- What the fuck? What is going on here? What are you guys doing? Stop it! I don't know what the fuck you're doing! Oh my god, there's so many... There's so many of everything! I'm cleaning it up right now. So that's what happened. This thing broke like a million fucking times down here, as you can see. It's still breaking and bringing in more rats, and... I, th I think my whole game's like fucked. I, at this point, I seriously think my whole game sucked. Like, the moment I stop, more and more rats come. This is... This is what this game has turned into for me. It's like a rat simulator. It's fucking great. Okay, I, okay, I'm repairing it, which seems to be working, but as you can see, like, look it! Look it! It's going down so fucking quickly! What the fuck are you guys doing? This- can this day just end? This is my- this is like- I'm just gonna go hide in a corner. I'm done. Okay, you know what? I've had enough of this shit. I can hardly play this fucking game right now! I'm going- oh, holy fuck! I gotta kill all these guys, because I feel like they're the ones that are doing it. Please go away, I- oh, game over. No! Why game? What the f fuck? Shops appeal has dropped below zero percent. You don't say. I had a million fucking rats there, but it wasn't my fault. That's what I want this game to know. You fucked up. I tried to keep up, and you screwed me over. Game. I'm not happy with you right now, shopkeep. And I'm yelling at a game. I'm realizing I'm losing my mind right now.